All right, guys, what is up? And it is a Friday, and you know what? It's time for Fix Up Friday. And this is just the second episode that we've done. The first one was really well received, so I figure, you know what, let's keep it going. And, you know, I actually realized I have more fix ups that I've done in the past couple weeks than I think I even realized. So we're just gonna kind of go over these, and I'm gonna go over formulas. And just kind of where I went and got. Some are super simple that like you can do them easily. Some are a little more complex. Um, I don't think, I mean, I don't do two or so cracks. So like these are all generally pretty easy swaps. So yeah, let's uh, go through. So we're going to start it off. If you saw the recent Spam Wrestling episode 14, then you would have noticed Eminem is now on the show. And we got Joey Mercury. Now this was super easy and you know, I know a lot of people can do way more complex customizations, but for me, this one was pretty simple. So all I did, I found the Jack's basic head and this is the crucial part that I know a lot of people are struggling with. There's some Joey Mercury heads floating around that are painted a little bit lighter shade. And I know the shade's not perfect. I, you can get, I get really nitpicky just cause I'm a big co like color accuracy guy, but it's pretty close and I was pretty happy with this Jack's uh, head of Joey Mercury. So that one's pretty simple. We're gonna put him to the side. And then next up, I'm just gonna do this one real quick. And I want an opinion on it too. Um, and also give credit where it's due. My Bray Wyatt that I've been using, MDT obviously came up with this formula. Like he painted the pants and did a little bit more than I did. All I did was take his basic head, plop it on there. Um, and then I gave him the rock, the rocks jacket. I don't know if this is a good look or not. Um, so if you guys say no, then it can be awesome and be good. I don't have his like swamp uh, jacket that he normally wears. So I figured it was just something that would look kind of interesting, unique. But I also figure, and this is probably what I'll do, I might throw this Triple H attitude jacket on him. Let me know what you guys think, which one looks better, which one I should do. And I'll swap it. I mean, I'm pretty open to suggestions. All right, next up, this one on the surface doesn't look like I did anything. But this is actually the Adam Cole Elite figure, like the one in the line, not the uh, three pack. So all I did was head swap off the baby head. I mean, it was simple. And what I'll probably do is I'm gonna swap. I don't know if I like these knee pads. They're just they're so annoying to pose. And so I'm gonna probably go with the ones. Let's see if I have this basic. Sorry, I have a whole mess of stuff laying around. But yeah, I don't know where I put his basic. But regardless. Uh, he has smaller knee pads than his basic. You can look it up. I'll probably swap those on. But there's my Adam Cole fix up. And next, this is less of a fix up, more of a. I mean, this is a full custom guy. But this is somebody that I had made on my old show DSF. Uh, this guy is RC Thrasher, Charlie Haas Jack's head. Uh, you know, I don't know. The white bandana came from a Jack's figure. It wasn't Chavo. Chavo came with a black one. I don't know who came with the white one. But regardless. Put it on Triple H body, Matt Hardy shirt, which I don't think I'll leave the shirt on just because it doesn't really have much give for posing, so then might as well use a Jax figure. So I'll probably not use the shirt, might go with cloth route for him, but custom character probably coming to spam at some point. Next up, let's go with Imperium. So obviously, just got Walter, wanted to get on the Imperium train, and Alex and Andrew Wolf's head is glowing right now. But basically, this is his exclusive elite figure. It didn't change anything underneath. If you look, like I've still got all that on. Um, this the jacket is a JBL jacket that came with the Jax figure. These pants I found on eBay, and they've been incredible. I think they still you can still buy them. So if you wanted to see them, I can send you the link. But super like not too expensive to buy. I think they look great. Have an extra pair here too. Like they're just phenomenal. Next up, and now whew, we're digging into the good ones here. Uh, this one's a pretty simple one, I'm just kidding. So this is not getting too crazy. Um, all I did here was, uh, you saw in the last one, swapped the basic head on. This is the Randy Orton Elite 78 body. But I switched the jacket out. This is his older Elite, I want to say 67. I don't, I really don't know what these set numbers are. It's hard to keep track of. Um, but yeah, the, 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 old, the one older Randy Orton jacket. So just color scheme wise, it just looks a lot better. I, I just think it matches and keeps everything consistent. All right, 
last couple and the last one I'll leave kind of as an open-ended and you guys kind of help me out and I want some opinions on it. So this one I just did, to, well, when this video releases, I did it yesterday. But I teased this in yesterday's video and here is Chad Gable. Um, my only beef with it, the, and I, you can't really see on video, but his chest color is not the same as his arms. And honestly, looking right here, it looks fine. So you'll probably think I'm crazy. But if you go onto my Instagram story that now you can't see because it's been 24 hours, but it just, it was discolored. It doesn't look, they, they don't match. They're not consistent. So I might need to paint them down the road. Not really sure what the plan is going forward, but we'll see. I, regardless, I think it looks awesome. And it's very similar to his gear that he has wore. If you watched the Battle Royal at, uh, was that Survivor Series? Yeah, that was Survivor Series. He's back to wearing the singlet. It looked similar, so I'm going to leave the singlet. I think that's a good look. And we'll see. Next up, this one's still kind of a work in progress custom. Still got to put decals on. But this is my Chris Masters uh, custom. And used Mr. Wonderful's gear as I haven't gotten rid of the logos yet. But it's making progress. I still need to add the decal of the tattoo. It's trunks there. Knee pad decals. Actually, I don't think there are knee pad decals. I think they're just these. Um, and then I got to find boots that will be the right, correct boots. But work in progress. Figured it would still be good to show. The head scan looks much better. If you saw, I tried using the Jax one. I would hand painted it to match the color. Actually, honestly, right here, it looks pretty dang close. But as you can tell, it's a little off. And I don't know. Just, I'm going to go with the Mattel one, I think. Plus, I got the peg stuck. But I don't know. It was just nice to fix his head because as you can see, there's some remnants of the Sharpie that I had added to it because I was a dumb kid. But I had Sharpied this whole thing, so the paint was nice to add just to kind of basically salvage the head because I probably would have just thrown it out. Alright, so next, this one really isn't that big of a fix-up. I just took a Christian Elite figure and added his TNA clothes. Which, like, if you can find his TNA clothes, I don't know if they're... Easy to find. I've had these for 15 years. Um, they had originally came with, and you saw this in the last video if you watched, they came with his Toy Biz figure, which, Mattel, please make this gear. Please make this gear. But, yeah, so that's really all I did there, but I think it's a huge addition. Looks great, and really, I, I don't know. I'm just a big fan of it. Um, and now last... This is something I'm working on, and then I need, I want some input. So here's kind of what I'm dealing with right now. Oh, wow, that was not centered at all. So we got Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes, broken Cody Rhodes. So here's what I'm kind of doing right now. I want to make an elite Cody Rhodes. My original plan was to use this Jax figure that was basically uh, disarmed. Um, and make his debut gear. So this is the gear he wore on his first match against Randy Orton on Raw. And I have the knee pads, obviously I can take those right off. Um, I'll have to paint some yellow boots, paint trunks green. But I was like, oh, this will be easy, I'll just take his Jack's head. But his Jack's head is, I don't know, some people, I get mixed reactions. I personally think this head looks freaking huge. Like, this is a big head. So, went out and got, uh... Elite or a basic head that will much it's much smaller I don't like the scan as much but I think it will do the job so I guess my question is should I move forward with doing this gear on that figure or should I do this gear on that figure so I just kind of leave it up for discussion either way I'm gonna swap the Jack's head out I just it doesn't look good but anyways that was fix up Friday let me know in the comments what you guys think Declaration of War is making progress. I have the chamber matches filmed, still have to edit, and then I have three more matches to film after that. I'm aiming for late December, but uh, as always, follow me on Instagram. I'll give updates. Feel free to message me and ask me. I don't, I, if you start saying when's Declaration of War, I'll answer. I'll do what I can and let you keep you in the loop. But it's going to be a great show. It's Right now, I think it's going to be around... Uh, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but the chamber matches are both about 20 minutes. I think the whole show is probably going to be around an hour, maybe a little more. We'll see. It's still a work in progress. But until next time, guys, have a great rest of your Friday and keep filming.